Hey there everyone, I hope you're all doing good. I'm doing this little bonus tips and trick video because I just found out a very fun patch with the angle grinder as a VCO. And take the grind output. If everything's at zero here, you get a sine wave. If you start messing around with those, add some harmonics. But then, if you move this, what you get is pulse width modulation, when there is at least one of those. A classic way to get pulse width modulation from the angle grinder would be to send another oscillator to the grind input, like this. This gives us a sort of a sync sound, but if we switch it to low, this gives us a sort of pulse width modulation. Back here. This is another flavor. And I have to admit I love this. There's no input for this, so how could we control it? Well, that's very simple. You just need to send a CV here. So if Take an offset. Then this offset becomes a pulse width control. Basically like if we were turning the knob here. So if now I add a slow moving LFO. I have proper pulse width modulation with harmonic control. Control over the depth. There's some weirdness going on sometimes, which is cool. And you don't need two oscillators to do it. This is just the angle grinder being an oscillator and being sent some modulation here. Awesome for drones. out of this. So I send the grind out here. Top tempo here, slower. Clock the envelope. So here on this side I have just the angle grinder. On this side just the no coast. weird call, but why not? Let's use the random voltage to control the overtone. As well Try to find back some of the instability we had before.
Rider. Just in her coast. That was the PWM recipe for the angle grinder. See you next time.